Recipes just make your mouth start to water as soon as you say the name. And today's recipe is that way. Today we're going to do our barbecue ribs, which are the best barbecue ribs you guys will ever have. They're really, really tender. So basically what you're going to do first is you're going to grab a pan with a rack in it, like I have here, and then we've already put our ribs inside here. And then you're going to grab, uh, I'd say, what was it, two cups of water? Two cups of water, just basically enough to fill the bottom of your pan up to the rack, yep. but you don't want your ribs laying in the rack. Right, you don't want the water touching the ribs and covering the ribs. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take some Montreal seasoning and you're just going to cover them. And I like to do quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's so good. And you're, it's like a dry rub. And what all is in the Montreal? You have your garlic and your pepper and your right. coarse, I mean, these are like coarse sea salt, so as chunky as you can get it. Yeah. But McCormick's makes a great brand that we like to use. And it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And so with our ribs, we don't add our barbecue sauce because a lot of folks come in and they say, can we get our ribs without barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. So we bake them actually without the barbecue sauce. What's really important with the ribs also is you're gonna take two sheets of aluminum foil and you're gonna put them on top the ribs Just like that. And then you're gonna put them in the oven for, uh, I'd say 350 for five hours. I know that seems like a long time, but it's gonna be so worth it. Well, that's what makes them so tender. It really does. You have does. the water in the bottom, you put them in the oven, you bake them for five hours, and that steam is what comes up. And that's why you wanna layer it twice with aluminum foil, because right. that steam really is what works it down. Yeah, and you guys are gonna love them. They're so, so good. Well, one of the sides that we serve with our ribs is our loaded baked beans. Yes. And these are fantastic. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make these. You can either start with a can or two of baked beans that you can purchase through the store or if you want to start with some dry pinto beans mm -hmm. and that way you know exactly what's in your beans right. and you then you add all the, the stuff. seasoning in it. Yeah. Absolutely. So go ahead and dump your beans in here after they've soaked overnight and then we're going to go ahead we have bacon already crumbled and fried up. We're going to throw in about a cup of that. Mm -hmm. A cup of your sausage that's already been baked. These are great great baked great dishes. Beans. Now Marcy likes to do her Onions I do mine, yeah. I like to season my onion and green pepper in a saucepan, you know, mm -hmm. just season them a little bit with some uh, garlic pepper. That way they cook down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that too. way they cook down a little bit. But, you know, you can just add them just like that, too. That's well, you fine. have five hours for your beans to yeah. get done, your ribs to get done. I put about two tablespoons here of your brown sugar, a little bit of barbecue sauce, which you think barbecue sauce and baked yep. beans, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon there. And then you're just gonna cook these down, get them nice and tender, and they smell delicious. Mm -hmm. And this right here is a meal in and of itself, absolutely. Well, today we've got some friends in here who helped us with the Josephine music video. They helped us get all the costumes for the period clothing, and mm -hmm. we're gonna have them here uh, come up and, and taste these ribs for us. So Tammy and Katie, come on up here. Katie, this is a, a daughter and this is the mother, Tammy. Come on up here closer so we're all together here. <laughs> Tammy was actually the nurse in the Josephine video. Katie. I'm sorry, Katie was. <laughs> and then you helped us find all the clothing. So that was such a fun time to, to get all that together. Now, do y'all prefer to have a little bit of barbecue sauce on your ribs? Mm, I'm sure. fine without it. With or without, okay? One with and one without. <laughs> and whatever barbecue sauce you prefer, it really doesn't matter. Everybody has their own, you know, sometimes people make their own too. Find their fork down forks, here. and then we've yeah. got some beans over here that are nice and piping hot on the wood burning stove. We'll have you guys taste this and see what you think. These girls worked so hard during that shoot that day. There you now go. these ribs you can find here at Marcy Joe's on uh, in the winter, actually. Yeah, no, it's in the summer. <laughs> it's in the summer. <laughs> we have these on Tuesdays, and then yeah. also Friday night, Friday nights, we have yeah. our catfish and ribs. Yeah. So, so tender. how do you like those? Wonderful. Aren't them good? Oh, yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. You guys take yeah, those over to the you. table with you and thank finish you. those off. <laughs> thank thank you. you so much. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks, our barbecue ribs and our loaded baked beans here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives. One bite at a time.